Expensive. Okay, friends, we have a new data with 11 values. So we have 11 data values. First of all, we are going to calculate the mean of these data values. To calculate the mean, first we have to get the total of these data values. What is the total of these data values? It comes to 657 and that will be known as sigma x 657. This data is a sample drawn from a population. So, we have to use sign small n to indicate the number of data values. So, n is 11 in this case. Now, we are going to calculate actually the sample mean. Because this data represents a sample. Sample mean, the sign of sample mean is x bar. And the formula for calculation of x bar is sigma x divided by small n. Small, the sign small n represents the sample size or size of the sample. In this case, the value of sigma x is 657 and the value of small n that is sample size is 11. So up to two decimal places what is the value of x bar? 59.73 59.73 This is the mean of the data. So we can say that to calculate mean of any data is a very easy task just get the summation of all the data values and divide that value by the number of observations that is sample size or population size. If we calculate mean of any population, the sign we will use is mu and the n will be capital N. Otherwise, there is no difference between the steps of calculation of population mean and the sample mean. So, this was the calculation of mean. Now for this data, we are going to determine the mode, mode of the data. What is the mode of the data? The data value which repeats itself most number of times is known as the mode of the data, mode. So in this data, the mode comes to, so first of all, let us check which data values repeat themselves. 53 repeats itself 3 times and 57 repeats itself 2 times. Out of 53 and 57, 53 appears 3 times most number of times in the entire data. So we can say that mode of this particular data is 53. So there is no calculation for the purpose of determination of the mode. No calculation. Now. In this data, we are going to determine the median and some other measures of the median family. Median, quartile, percentile, deciles, etc. are known to be the measures of location. Where the particular measure is there in the data. But first of all, to find or to determine median or any other measure of the median family like quartile, percentile or decile, First, we have to arrange the data into ascending order. Here, we have already arranged the data into ascending order. So, first step is to arrange the data into ascending order from the lowest value to the highest value. Now, first of all, let us take median. When we want to determine the median of any data, first of all, consciously count the number of data values. Here, it is. 11, n is 11 or number of data values are 11. 11 is an odd value because to find out the median first we have to decide whether the number of data values is odd or even. In this case we have to determine the median for odd number of values. In case of odd number as values, median is nothing but the value exactly in the center. What is median? So the median is the median equals to the middle value. In case of 11 values, 
the sixth value is exactly in the middle. First, let us ignore first five values. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then last five values. One, two, three, four, five. So this 57 is exactly in the center or this 57 is the middle value of these data arranged in ascending order. So we can say that median of this particular data is 57. Now the second measure of the median family is percentile. First of all, what is percentile? Percentile, the measure which divides the entire data into 100 equal parts is called the percentile. To find out the percentile, first we have to calculate index. The sign is small i. To calculate the index, we have to use a formula that is p divided by 100 into n. In this case, it is say for any percentile. Say we are going to find out the 20th percentile. Then the index is 20. 20 comes from 20th percentile or the sign is P20. That is the percentile of our interest 20 20 divided by 100 multiply this factor by n that is 11 so it is 2.2 so index comes to 2.2 now what if the index is not an integer value then go to the next integer value so we have to take index as 3. 3. This is not the case of rounding off. But when the index is not an integer, go to the next integer value. So it is 3. So we can say that 20th percentile or P20 is the third data value. And now what is the third data value? It is 53. So we can say that P20 or 20th percentile for this particular data is 53. In this way we can find any number of percentile. Let us find say P65. That means 65th percentile. Again, first we have to find the index. That will be 65 divided by 100 into n, that is 11. 7 7.15. 7 7.15. Again, the index is not an integer. So, we have to go to the next integer value and that is 8. That means, in this case, P65 is the 8 value. So, P65 is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. That is 64. 64. 64. In this way, with the help of calculation of index, we can find out any number of percentage. Let us go to the next measure of the median family. That is very popular and useful measure and it is known as quartile. Quarter means fourth part. So the word quartile is actually made from the word quarter. Quartile means the measure which divides the entire data into four equal parts. So there will be four minus one three quartiles. In case of percentile, number of percentile is 100 minus 1, 99. There are 99 percentiles. Percentile 1, percentile 2 and so on up to percentile 99. P1, P2, P3 till P99. Similarly, 
there are three quartiles first is q1 the lowest quartile or first quartile the sign is q1 25% data values are less than that and remaining 75% data values are greater than that q2 is our median or b50 50th percentile 50% data values are less than that remaining 50% data values are greater than that and the third that is the highest quartile that is q3 75% data values are less than q3 and the highest 25% values are greater than q3 so we can calculate three quartiles but the we never calculate the second quartile we always calculate the median so we are going to calculate first and the third quartile so the third measure is quartile now let us find the first quartile or q1 our q1 is nothing but it is our p25 25th percentile and first quartile both are same 25% data values are less than that and remaining 75% values are greater than that so it is nothing but the p25 let us find out the index it comes to 25 by 100 into n that is 11 so index comes to 2.75 again the index is not an integer so we will go to the next integer value that is 3 that means the third value in this data is the first quartile so q1 equals to the third value therefore our q1 or say p25 is 53 In the same way, let us find the third quartile that is Q3 and now we know that Q3 is nothing but our P75 or 75th percentile. 75% of data values are less than this and remaining 25% which are known to be top 25% are greater than this. Again, first we have to calculate the index and it is 75 by 100 into n that is 11. 8.25 8.25 again the index is not an integer we are going to the next integer value 9 that means our p75 or say q3 is the ninth value so the p75 or q3 of this particular data is ninth value that is 68 So we actually found mean, mode, median, quartiles and percentiles of the data all together are known as measures of central tendency and the measures of median family are also known as measures of location because their value is based on the location in the data which is in the ascending order. Okay? Thank you.